A quick hand to capture here. I was looking up something I found curious. I saw a kit on the JCAR uh, electronics site where, um, actually a magazine ad, where they talked about thermal track transistors. No need to bias. No bias circuit needed. Um, and some kit amp they had. So I looked up these thermal tracks. The best place I found information on it, if you want to look, I'd recommend going here. It's uh, um, the E Times. And this article is pretty good. It's a little disappointing though, it's just a diode in the transistor. And they must have made the diodes pretty light too. I would hope they'd make the diode pretty heavy duty just so that you could put the use it any place in the circuit you wanted. It's kind of lame actually. Um, they show a typical amp here. Oh come on. <laughs> it's giving me definition of click. All right. Why am I anyway, they show a pretty typical modern amplifier in you know multiple uh, TO220 output stages, a driver transistor, a pre-driver, and they apply the bias spreader way back here. I thought that was a little bit odd. And in this circuit, they mount the uh, TO92 bias transistor on the heatsink for tracking. So this is their example of the old and their big improvement on the new here. Let's see if I can get this to scroll. I gotta go back. 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 And then, yeah, that's kind of meaningless. I guess for the circuit they're showing, the reference circuit. And here's the big improvement. Using those built-in diodes, applying it way back at this part of the circuit where your current is real light. That's why I was saying I speculate the diodes aren't that heavy duty. Or wouldn't they want to put them on the uh, pre-driver or the driver stage? I've even seen smaller amps that have the diodes, you know, strung across, string of diodes at the, uh, right at the output stage on a small amp. Of course, the further back you put it in the amp, the more current's going to go through your diode string. And so they've gone back to a simple diode string. The advantage is the diode is right next to the die on the output transistor. So these three outputs are these three diodes. These three are these three. So the diode is right in the same die and picks up the heat instantly and reacts quickly. So that's good. I think if I had these transistors available, I'd probably just use one or two of the diodes and go with a more conventional um, transistor circuit, you know, diode controlled transistor circuit. Give me a little more adjustability than this kind of fixed setup here. But each their own, I guess. Anyway, I thought it was kind of interesting. I just wanted to give a quick look at what was curious to me, thermal track transistors. And I'll try to remember to leave a link.